Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We will be in Psalms 37 verse 12, verse 7, and verse 10. All right, let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for your word. Thank you for uniqueness because you are very unique and you always get across your message to us. We love you. We praise you. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. Verse 12 is a scripture of emphasis, and this is the, the order in which he gave it to me. Like, I put down 12, and then he said, also do verse 7 and verse 10. I thought for sure he was going to say something else, but he said 12, 7, and 10. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, verse 12 of Psalms 37. The wicked plots against the righteous and gnashes his teeth at him. So, yeah, (laughs) Um, this actually was a scripture. Uh, This this whole psalm is a psalm of David, by the way. And this is a scripture that I had had in my house um, and I was uh, studying this. And um, yeah, this is, you know, implying that the enemy is hating on you, right? (laughs) The enemy is a hater. He's hating on you. And the wicked plots against the righteous, right? So we are being plotted against, right? We may be going around completely, you know, oblivious to it, completely in a world of our own and having our mind on things above and being positive. And the wicked is plotting. Right. He's looking at you. He's mad. He's jealous of you. He does not like you. And we have to remember that he's there. Right. Your adversary, the devil, is walking around like a roaming lion seeking whom we may devour. Right. Um, it says the wicked plot, meaning he makes plan against the righteous. Right? Who's the righteous? We are the righteous. If you have received Jesus Christ into your heart, you are righteous because you are found in him, right? If you are walking in the light, then you are abiding in Christ and you are found in him. The wicked plots against the righteous and gnashes his teeth at him. Meaning, um, I like the gnashing of the teeth part because it means like, when you are looking at something and you can't get to it and and it makes you grind your teeth like, Ur, you know, like, because the enemy knows he can't get us. <laughs> he can't get us the way he wants to get us. Yes, the weapon may form, right? He may make the plot against us, but it won't prosper. It says the wicked plots against the righteous and gnashes his teeth at him, meaning he's like from a distance. He, he 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 has to stay in his place, right? Because the Lord guards us. He's our shield. He's our salvation. He's our refuge, right? Um, I love that one psalm that we were reading, um, that we studied, where it said, "Blunt the the tips of the arrows, Lord," right? So the arrow may even come flying at you, right? But it doesn't even have a tip. <laughs> So it's probably going to hit the shield and just fall right down or even break, right? This is the wicked plots. He hates us. He's trying to make a plan against us. But guess what? He can only just sit back and gnash his teeth. He can only grind his teeth at us because he cannot have us. The Lord said he will never leave us nor forsake us. You might be going through something that feels like the enemy is winning, right? But he's not winning. As long as there's breath in your body, he's not winning. Christ is winning. He abide in him and he's going to direct your path, right? Verse 7 of Psalms 37. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way, over the man who carries out evil devices. Fret not yourself, right? Be still before the Lord. Wait patiently for him. Be still before the Lord. Wait patiently for him. This is something the Lord has been dealing with me so much lately. Be still. And he tells me it's like a new thing, just like he, he started out saying, go tell so much. Now he's saying, be still a lot because I really need to be still. 
and wait on him. Wait for the character of his voice. Wait for his call, right? Be still, be quiet, get quiet, get somewhere and, and stop going around in a tizzy, right? It says be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. It's easier to discern his voice when you're waiting patiently and being still. It's easier to to truly know that it was him, right? When you can cut off your mind, cut off yourself, cut off your flesh and and be still because he's always speaking. But whether or not we're paying attention and whether or not we're still enough to perceive and discern his voice is something totally different. It says, be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way. Don't be upset. Don't fret yourself, right? Don't go out in the tizzy over the enemy. Um, I was just dealing with this just recently and um, just, you know, getting uh, the enemy wants to draw you back into this world. He wants to draw your cares back into the things of this world. When the Lord is clearly saying, stop thinking about that, (laughs) right? The Lord has been showing me a giraffe lately. I know that sounds crazy. There's a giraffe on like this receiving blanket. And I always pay attention to it. Like my eyes always go to this little receiving blanket with a giraffe. And then there's a giraffe right here next to me you guys, in the playroom. I'm in the playroom recording. And it's one of those huge giraffes. Of course, a grandparent bought it and it just sits here and it always looks at me. And um, the thing is, the Lord revealed to me why I was looking at and on the receiving blanket so much. And he says, it's because you need to have your head in the clouds. You need to have your mind on things above and not on things beneath. And so I was like, oh, that's a good one, Lord. Wow. I like that one. Every time I see this giraffe now, I think of heavenly things. I try to think on heavenly things, things that are not of this earth. Why? Because I don't need to fret myself over the one who prospers in his way. I don't need to fret myself over evildoers and and, and and the enemy and what he's doing and how he's plotting against me. No, no, no. He's going to gnash his teeth at me. It is what it is because God is going to make sure that that weapon may form, but it won't prosper, right? Be still before the Lord. Wait patiently for him. Fret not over yourself, over the one who prospers in his way over the man who carries out evil devices, his way may prosper, right? That that evil may prosper. They may be living the good life. The enemy may be f- uh, flashing and showing everything that he's got, right? And you may not have anything. You may, you may be the worker and they're the manager. You may be the, the servant and they are the leader, right? But you know what? Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way. Only thing you need to do is wait patiently, right? Is to be still before the Lord and wait patiently. Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way. Over the man who carries out evil devices. You don't need to be fretting over someone who's carrying out evil devices especially people that are intentionally doing it or under the influence of the enemy because God has you. He's got you. He's got you. Wait patiently for him. Be still before the Lord, right? Because he's going to come through for you. He's going to make sure that the righteous are covered. It says, let's read it all together. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way over the man who carries out evil devices. Verse 10, in just a little while, the wicked will be no more. Though you look carefully at his place, he will not be there. Lord, you couldn't have put that any better. That was just beautiful, right? Because in a little while, right, it's not going to be forever. Your situation may feel like it's forever, But in a little while, 
God is going to change some things. It says, in a little while, the wicked will be no more. There, It's going to get wiped away. The situation, either the season is going to move on, the person's going to move out of the way, or and you're going to graduate to another level, or the rapture may come, and not may come, the rapture is coming, right? But either way, in just a little while, the wicked will be no more. Though you look carefully at his place, he will not be there. And that means that the person may even still be there. The enemy is going to move out of the way, right? The enemy is about to move from his place. Thank you, Jesus. All we have to do is be still before the Lord. Wait patiently for him, right? He's telling us the directions. That's the prescription. Be still before the Lord. Wait patiently for him. And do not fret yourself right? Don't fret yourself over it. Do not fret yourself over the one who prospers in his way, over the man who carries out evil devices. Verse 10, in just a little while, the wicked will be no more. Though you look carefully at his place, he will not be there. He will not be there. You're going to go looking. You're going to have to search for him, right? And he's not going to be there. There's going to be nothing there in his place. Amen. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for all you've done. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for patience. And thank you for showing us how to be still in our spirits. Be still and wait on you. Help us to be still before you, Lord. In your mighty name, Jesus, we pray. We love you. Amen. All right, you guys, if there's anyone out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than saying the words, believe them with all your heart as you confess them with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, forgive me for all of my sins. They are many. Sit on the throne of my heart, Jesus. I make you my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, I believe you died on the cross, and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I can be saved. Thank you for dying for me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys. If you pray that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you. He's he's dwelling inside you regardless of whether you feel him or not. If you've accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit is in you. And he's going to lead you and guide you into all truth. He's going to transform your heart. He's going to transform your mind as long as you let him. So don't chasten him. Don't not let him, right? So according to Ephesians chapter two, the Lord has a plan for you. And there's a way that he wants you to walk in. The Holy Spirit is there to lead you and guide you into all truth. And that helps you walk out that plan. So listen to his voice. Listen to his leading. He's going to show you the right way. One of the easiest ways to learn the voice of the Holy Spirit is to sit down with his word, open it up, read it, uh, and ask him questions about it. Let it talk talk through it with him um, and learn how to sit and be patient and wait for an answer. Learn how to be quiet and wait for the Holy Spirit to answer your questions. This is a wonderful way to understand and know the voice of God. Um, the, the Lord wants you to go out and be baptized, go out and meet other believers, make disciples of all men. Um, he wants you to go out and just do his work and do his will. 
Um, he also wants you to join a church home and be baptized and be sharpened with other believers. This is something he wants us to make sure we're not forsaking coming together with one another. All right, you guys, um, listen for the voice of the Holy Spirit and abide in Christ. Amen. All right. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord give you as children his peace. Take care.